I am Dr. Madhusudan Reddy from INS Science College, Faruman, Mysore. Today, in this video, I will be discussing about the principle and the procedure employed in the conductometry titrations. Today, we shall see what is the principle underlying the conductive titration of strong acid against strong base. So, the principle is that during the titration of uh, an acid against a base, there is, change, there is a replacement of uh, an ion by an other ion which differ in the ionic mobility and their conductance. Hence, during the titration, as we add more and more titrant, the <coughs> depending upon the ion being replaced and be, depending upon the ion that is replacing, either conductance will increase till the end point or decrease the till end point and then increases or remains constant based on the nature of the titrant used. For example, during the titration of strong gas like HCl against a strong base like NaOH, when we add NaOH to HCl solution in the beaker, fast moving H plus ions are replaced by slow moving Na plus ions. Therefore, as long as HCl is present in the solution, addition of NaOH results in the replacement of H plus ions by sodium ions and therefore conductance decreases continuously till the neutralization point. Once all the HCl is neutralized, addition of NaOH, which is a strong base and dissociates completely, furnishes more and more ions. Therefore, conductance increases after the neutralization point. So here, the amount of NaOH required for the neutralization, complete neutralization of the taken acid is determined from the graph of uh, volume of uh, NaOH versus conductance of the solution. So as shown in the graph, we get uh, a graph of this passion of two straight lines which when extrapolated uh, intersect and the volume of NaOH corresponding to the point of intersection is the volume of NaOH consumed by the volume of acid taken. Now we shall uh, look at the demonstration of the experiment. So this is the digital conductivity meter which I'm using and there are conductivity meters of various makes and it all depends upon the make that you are using and uh, the pressure of operating the conductivity meter depends upon the make that one is using. Here in this instrument we have uh, the facility for setting the cell constant. So here I have used a cell of cell constant 0.98 and that cell constant is set here. Now in order to change to conductance mode, I press here. So now it's in conductance mode. I have pipetted out 25 cm cube of HCl in the beaker and of 0.1 normal HCl, approximately 0.1 normal HCl and I have taken one, uh, one normal NaOH in the beaker. And during the conductive titration, it is always advisable to use uh, the titrand which is 10 times stronger than the concentration of the titrand. This is the care to be taken in order to avoid change in conductance due to volume change. Therefore, it is preferably chosen that the titrand is always 10 times stronger than the titrand. So in today's experiment, uh, I have taken 0.1 normal HCl and I have taken one normal NaOH and I have placed the conductivity cell in the solution and uh, here this is the initial conductance which is about uh, 24.7 into 200 millisiemens. Now, as I had seen, I have taken 25 cm cube of uh, approximately 0.1 normal HCl. I expect the neutralization point around 2.5 uh, cm cube of NaOH, therefore I add 0.2 cm cube of NaOH each time to the HCl solution, then I determine the conductance for 0.2 ml of HCl added each time. As I said, during the titration of strong acid against strong base, conductance decreases as long as HCl is present. So earlier it was 24.7, after addition of 0.2 cm cube of uh, NaOH, the conductance is fallen to 24.2. So I, as I add further, when I add
further 0.2 ml means I have added totally 0.4 cm cube of NaOH to the taken NaCa uh, NaOH uh, HCl solution and the conductance is 23.0 now. So if I add about 1 cm cube, totally if I add 1 cm cube, let us see what happens to the conductance. When I added 0.4 cm cube of uh, in a way it was 23 millisiemens. Now I have added 1 cm cube of in a way it, uh, now the conductance has fallen to 99.9. Let me add another 0.5 cm cube. So the total volume of in a way added is 1.5 cm cube. And let us see what happens to the conductance. As long as HCl is present, conductance continuously decreases. Then once all HCl is neutralized, the conductance increases. So now I have added 1.5 cm cube and still the conductance has decreased to 16.8 from 19 point something. Now let me add totally 2 ml of NaOH. So now it is, I have added 2 ml of NaOH and still the conductance is reduced to 13.5. Now let me add another 0.5 cm cube so the total volume of NaOH added is 2.5 cm cube and let us see what would be the conductance upon the addition of 2.5 cm cube of NaOH. Still the neutralization point is not reached because there is a decrease in conductance. Now I add another 0.2 cm cube so that the total Volume of NaOH added is 2.7 cm cube. Still, the neutralization point is not reached. Now, I add totally 3 ml and let us see whether his cell will be neutralized. Ten point five one. Still, it's not neutralized. I add another point five cm cube. So I have added totally three point five cm cube of NaOH. Yes. Now the conductance has raised from seven point something to nine point seven seven. It means the volume of NaOH consumed lies between three and three point five cm cube which can be determined from the graph as I discussed earlier from the graph of volume of energy versus conductance. Thank you.